Okay, so I get asked a lot of the same questions in my comments on my YouTube videos about what I prefer, what's the best page builder, what's the best WordPress theme. So today in this video, I'm gonna give you my personal recommendations on what I recommend for uh, page builders, for WordPress themes, for themes for e-commerce, also for hosting and plugins that I would recommend if you're trying to build a specific type of website. So with that said, let's just dive into it. So these page builders I recommend in this specific order for building basic websites, for websites with no features, just an ordinary plain website. So number one is Divi. I do find that the UI and the UX for Divi is the easiest to learn out of all of the page builders on this whole list. I find that beginners tend to favor Divi because it's really simple to use. And actually, I think women tend to favor this page builder the most because in my, in my uh, YouTube channel, majority of my statistics that watch my Divi videos are women. Also in Facebook groups, I mostly see women asking questions about Divi. Maybe there's something about it that they like more than other builders. But if you're just getting started out with WordPress, I think Divi is probably one of your best options for building a basic website. So Divi is my number one recommendation for basic websites. Number two is Brizzy. I think Brizzy is actually maybe even tied with Divi because they have a beautiful user interface and look at the amount of blocks they give you. Now Divi does not offer blocks. However, they offer a huge amount of templates. Those templates can be questionable, but I think that um, Brizzy offers just a large amount of blocks and templates that will make the design process a lot easier, especially for beginners. So if you're just getting started out, definitely consider Brizzy for building websites. Number three is Elementor. Now Elementor, I do like it, but I don't think that it is as user-friendly as the first two. They do offer a lot of features, which I'll talk about later, but uh, they do have a free version. So if you are getting started out with WordPress and you wanna build a basic website, I think Elementor is a great pick. It's very stable, it's fast, uh, I do think it has a slight learning curve, but once you get past that, who cares? You know, you got the you got the website built. Next is Flatsum, and I'm a personal fan of Flatsum. Now I know Flatsum is used specifically uh, for e-commerce, but I think that the user interface with Flatsum is not that bad. In fact, they do offer a huge amount of templates and blocks that you can build a website with. So uh, I know it's for e-commerce only or specifically for e-commerce, but you can build a basic website with Flatsum and they do have a lot of demos that you can use to check out. Uh, next is Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is a solid builder, but personally I don't use it. I've never really liked it, but I know a lot of people do, but I just, I'm kind of neutral on Beaver Builder. I just find that page builders like Brizzy and Divi are a lot more easier to use than Beaver Builder. That's why I never really picked Beaver Builder. Next, we have Thrive Themes, and Thrive Themes, again, is another page builder that I don't really use too much. The interface is similar to Elementor, so if you like Elementor, you would probably like Thrive Themes, or it's called the Thrive Architect Builder or something like that. But uh, Thrive Themes, um, it's something that I used a little bit, but I'm just not crazy about it. And I don't recommend WP Bakery. I don't think this builder is any good. I think it's had its day, you know, back in the day, but I think now that we have Brizzy, Elementor, and Divi out, I just wouldn't recommend WP Bakery for uh, any website. So those are my personal recommendations for building basic websites. Now remember, all of the links for every page builder and WordPress theme I talk about will be in the description below of this video. So you can go ahead and check those out. Okay, so next let's talk about WordPress themes. So WordPress themes generally control the outside of your website. They control the header and the footer. They also have an influence on the shop page, blog page, and product page for your website. However, today with page builders, they're slowly kind of pushing themes out of the way because now page builders, you can build every page from the ground up. However, if you don't wanna use the theme builder for every part of your website, these are the themes I recommend to build basic websites. So number one is Astra. So Astra is just like a very lightweight theme. It just does its job for the page builder. It has few functions for the header and the footer. And I find that using Astra, it's like it has everything that you need. It doesn't have like every single amazing feature that you might want. But if you're just building a basic website, I think Astra is the way to go. They also do have a lot of starter templates for you lazy people. So if you don't wanna build a website from scratch, uh, Astra actually offers the largest amount of uh, templates for your, uh, your website with Brizzy and Elementor. So that's something to consider. So go ahead and check out the Astra theme. Next is one of my personal favorites, uh, which is the, I guess it's the Neve or Nev. 
So the Neve theme offers a header and a footer builder. So you can completely design the header and the footer from the ground up. They do have some other features like a WooCommerce booster, but if you want to go a little bit further with the header and the footer, and you don't want to design it with uh, the, the page builder, I recommend Neve in this situation because Neve has a really good header and footer builder. Astra does not, but if you just want to really get customizable with your website, I think Neve is the way to go. Next, you have Hello Elementor, which is just a basic theme with nothing on it. So if you don't want to use a theme at all, if you don't want to use a theme at all, and you just want to use the page builder to build everything, uh, you have to have a WordPress theme still. And if you're going to do that, I'd recommend Hello Elementor because it really doesn't offer anything. It doesn't offer anything at all, and it's very lightweight. So it allows the page builders to kind of do what they're made for. So if you don't want any features of the theme, then I would recommend Hello Elementor. So uh, yeah, that's just something to consider. Next, we have Customify. Now, Customify is also another WordPress theme that allows you to build a custom header and a footer with the actual theme. Uh, it does also offer other features like a WooCommerce booster, and it does have other various things that you might want to have on your website. But if you want to go a step further and design the header and the footer of a website, Customify and Neve are the only ones on this whole list that allow you to do that uh, for a free version. So that's just something to consider. But yeah, it's actually really helpful. And it works with all page builders, Brizzy, Divi, and Elementor. Now, next on the list is Divi. Now, I know Divi's on the list twice, but Divi is still a WordPress theme. Now, Divi is the only premium theme on this list. These other themes right here, they are all free, but Divi offers a header and a footer builder. You can design any part of the website from the ground up. It includes all the elements like a contact page, uh, has tons of animations. It pretty much has everything that you need for building a website. So uh, Divi definitely worth checking out. And lastly is Ocean WP. Now this theme still deserves recognition. It's still a solid theme. The only thing I don't like about it is that you do need a plugin for it to fully operate, but it has everything that you need. So if you are using Brizzy, if you're using Elementor and you need a theme, you can definitely use Ocean WP. I do like actually some of the WooCommerce features it has compared to the other WordPress themes. It does offer a lot of different plugins. I think maybe too many plugins, but that's just my opinion. But if you are building a basic website with Elementor or Brizzy, I definitely think OceanWP should be on your list to check out. Now, I want to quickly address some of the themes on ThemeForest. Now, you as a beginner, you probably went ahead and you probably purchased a lot of these WordPress themes because you saw the beautiful demos and you thought, oh my God, I want a website that looks just like that. But after you bought it, it used a specific page builder that was not good or the theme customizer might not have been what you're expecting, or the theme was probably just very glitchy, which is a very a common problem with the themes over here on ThemeForce. So I do like some themes on this list. I do like Flotsam. I think Flotsam is a very good e-commerce theme. In fact, that's one I really recommend for e-commerce. But a lot of these themes on this list, guys, they're just very glitchy. They don't load properly and you just have nothing but problems. And when you purchase one of these themes, half the time these, these uh, developers, they tell you to go contact your hosting. But in reality, it is the theme that's causing the problem, not the hosting. Also Porto, that's one I would not recommend. I actually bought it. I was this close to making a video on it. But it was just so glitchy and I says, I can't present this to my viewers. You know, there's no way. Uh, the X theme, I'm not a fan of it, but a lot of people tend to use that. Udema, I would not use that one for LMS. It is very, very glitchy. Uh, houses, that's what I'm currently looking at right now, but I do think Real Homes is a better theme. Uh, I don't know if Real Homes is, oh yeah, right here. Real Homes, that's a very good WordPress theme for e-commerce. I'm sorry, for a real estate. So uh, be sure to check that one out and so on and so forth. So you get the point, but when you are um, buying these themes, just be mindful that a lot of these themes are not the best. The demos might look beautiful, but that's my personal experience with theme forest. So enough of that, enough of the WordPress themes. Now let's talk about e-commerce. So next let's talk about e-commerce. So if you are trying to build a website that's selling something, these are the themes and page builders I recommend in this specific order. So number one is Flatsum. I think Flatsum is the all-in-one solution for e-commerce. It's very responsive out of the box. It's great for mobile and it just has everything that you need. In fact, it has a lot of different styles and designs for products that a lot of page builders don't have. So if you're looking to build an e-commerce website, I recommend Flatsum. I do have a video on how to make a website with Flatsum in the description below. And after that, I would recommend Elementor. I do think Elementor works really well with third-party integrations for e-commerce, and it just has everything that you need. I think it's simple to build a website or an e-commerce website with Elementor. So go ahead and check that out. I do have a video on Elementor as well in the description below. 
Next is Brizzy. I think Brizzy is a suitable page builder for building e-commerce websites. It actually offers some features that other page builders don't have. Like it has a product display, which is really interesting. If you're building an e-commerce website, I would recommend Brizzy as well. Now Divi. Divi, I would not recommend because I feel that it's missing some features for e-commerce. Like Divi doesn't have an add to cart button, you know, and that's just sad because I think it's, uh, we're in what, 2000, 2020, we, we don't have an add to cart button. So I would not recommend Divi for building e-commerce websites. I do have tutorials on it, but there are just some features that I wish Divi had for e-commerce that these other themes do have. So uh, for e-commerce websites specifically, I would not recommend Divi. Now, if you are building a website with Brizzy or Elementor, you will need a WordPress theme. And I do recommend Astra. I think Astra is suitable. And I do also recommend the Nib theme. So this has a WooCommerce booster. So if you don't wanna use the theme builder for Elementor, or, or Brizzy, you can actually use this WordPress theme as you know, to display your products and everything. So this is a suitable theme for e-commerce and I do recommend it. And lastly is again, Ocean WP. Did you have a lot of plugins for their, their WordPress theme? Um, and I've used it before for e-commerce and I find that beginners tend to uh, like Ocean WP for building an e-commerce website. So those are my personal recommendations for building e-commerce websites. So next let's talk about miscellaneous websites. So maybe you're building an education website, maybe you're building a real estate website. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Now for any website that's a little bit more complicated, I would recommend Elementor because it has just a massive third party market that has pretty much everything that you need. So for example, we have the real homes theme and the real homes theme is using Elementor and you can create an IDX real estate website. So in that specific case, I would recommend Elementor and the real homes theme for real estate websites. Also, for those of you who are building listings or directory websites, I would recommend the My Listings. They also do use Elementor. So um, again, Elementor works for a lot of different difficult projects. So if you have a client and they want something really advanced or really dynamic, I would probably go with Elementor uh, for that specific category. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about is educational websites. So if you're building uh, an LMS website, I would personally use any builder. I would use Divi, Brizzy, or Elementor, and I would use Moodle, not a specific WordPress plugin. So Moodle is another open source software where you can build a whole university website. In fact, many top universities use Moodle, like uh, my school, California State University Northridge, when I was going there, University of Illinois, uh, North Carolina State. So a lot of big popular universities use uh, Moodle because it's really simple to use. It's also open source. UC Berkeley also uses Moodle. So I would recommend it using any WordPress theme with Moodle. Uh, and we'll be having a video on how to use that and I'll put that in the description below. So for example, you can build a basic website with Divi, Brizzy or Elementor and then you can connect Moodle with it. You know, so for example, I'll click on login and register and then it'll take me to my Moodle where users can log in they can finish assignments, they can do quizzes, tests, and all that good stuff. So there are a lot of LMS plugins that you can use, but I find that Moodle probably is a lot more powerful because teachers have full power and control over their classroom. So uh, for a specific education website, I'd recommend any WordPress theme with Moodle. So those are my personal recommendations for miscellaneous websites. So now that I've talked to you about that, let's talk about plugins. So next let's talk about plugins. Now I know plugins can be very difficult because there's so many plugins, you have to buy it, you have to try it, and you know, you have to dig through the dirt. And guys, trust me, I have been there, I have licked the plot clean. So uh, these plugins I recommend based off certain niches like SEO, booking, or membership. So let's go ahead and go through the list. But uh, number one is WooCommerce. Obviously if you're selling something, WooCommerce is the best plugin for selling anything. Any other plugin, all right? It's the best one, just use it. It's better than Shopify. So all those fake gurus with all the Shopify crap and the the the, the Wix stuff, that's all, that's all fake news, all right? WooCommerce is the best one, hands down, for an e-commerce website. So uh, yeah, WooCommerce, definitely use it. Next is Yoast. Now Yoast, you can use Yoast or Rank Math for SEO. So if you want your website to rank higher in the search engines and you want it to look a specific way, I recommend both. So you can use Yoast or you can use Rank Math. It's debatable which one's better. I think you get more to use uh, with Rank Math, 
but SEO, I'm sorry, but Yoast has been around for a lot longer. So that's just something to consider, but I think either one will do its job. So it just depends on which one you like better. Next is Ultimate Membership Pro. So if you're building a website with a membership feature or integration on it, this is the plugin I recommend. It's a very suitable plugin. It works for all page builders. It's really simple to get started and it's really cheap. So if you compare it to plugins like MemberPress, I like MemberPress, but it's too expensive and it just doesn't have a nice interface. I do like this interface a lot more and I think they should charge a lot more for this plugin. So hurry up and buy it before they raise this price after they watch this video. So, and now this works for any builder as well. So it works for Divi, Brizzy and Elementor. So membership websites, check out this plugin. Next we have Amelia. Now I like this plugin because this is a, a booking plugin and it has a very nice interface and it's very mobile friendly. And that's important because a lot of people are on their phones today. I mean, they're just like walking and they're looking at their phone all the time. So this plugin is very mobile responsive. I do find it better than a lot of other booking plugins. And again, the interface is very clean. It's very simple, but make sure to buy it from their website. Uh, don't buy it from ThemeForest because it's a lot more expensive. I do have a link below if you guys want to go ahead and buy it. You know, I do get a small commission. I'll chop it up with you. We'll split it. I'm just kidding. I I, I don't. <laughs> but the link is below if you guys want to go ahead and buy it. It's a very good booking plugin. And trust me, I've looked through all of them. And this is the best booking plugin uh, for your, you know, booking website or for your salon or whatever you want to do. Next, we have Lifter LMS. So if you are selling something, if you're one of those fake gurus on YouTube and you wanna sell a million dollar course on something, this is the plugin to get. Now, if you are, again, you know, seriously, if you're a personal trainer and you want to sell videos on personal training or you wanna sell something on cooking or personal finance or whatever you wanna do, this is the plugin I recommend because Moodle is very good for education websites, but if you are selling specific courses for people on the internet, I think this is the best plugin. I do have a video on how to make a website with Lifter LMS and WordPress. And we actually give a free template out in that video as well. So uh, yeah, this is the one I recommend for selling online courses. So lastly, let's talk about web hosting. So if your website sucks and it's slow, you probably need new web hosting. And I did make a video on the best and also the worst web hosting. You can see here we got Hostinger fighting HostGator. I think we all know who wins that because everyone knows I hate HostGator. I mean, it is the slowest and the worst company. People on YouTube still recommend this company. It's pretty crazy. But uh, companies I do recommend is Name Hero. I think this is a very suitable website for anyone building a website. It's actually the cheapest one on this whole list. And I do have an exclusive discount for Name Hero in the description below. You're welcome. And also uh, SiteGround. So SiteGround is a very reliable web hosting company. And my website, DarylWilson.com, is built with SiteGround. So I still recommend them because people were saying, oh, Daryl, you don't recommend Psycho no more because you like Name Hero? No, they're all good hosts. You can use any one of them, whatever works for you. Uh, next is Hostinger. Hostinger performed really well on my best web hosting competition. So in this video, Hostinger performed really well. So if you want to see how they did, uh, you can go check it out. But they did have great uptime and they were very fast. So I do recommend Hostinger for shared hosting. Also, known host, I still do recommend this company. This company deserves a lot more recognition. It's They're very fast. They are a little old school, but their servers are fantastic. So be sure to check out known host. Now, if you wanna spend a little bit more money, I would recommend WP Engine. They are amazing, very, very fast. Also, Liquid Web. I think Liquid Web, you get the most value for your money. You get the most space, and you also get the most bandwidth with their plans and Lastly, we have Cloudways, which is another company. I don't recommend it for beginners, but people who have been using WordPress for a while and they want to upgrade, I would recommend Cloudways. So those are my personal recommendations for web hosting. So what did you guys think of my whole list? Be honest. You can be honest with me. Tell me, hey, Daryl, this was a great list or hey, Daryl, this sucked. But let me know what you think about my personal recommendations for all the topics in the comments below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully by now you have some sort of direction on what to choose for your WordPress websites. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. My favorite beer is Modelo. So also let me know if you actually know my favorite beer in the comments below. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.